everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the closing of YCP Live Reads. This has been a super exciting adventure for us and we hope that you've been enjoying it as much as we have. I'm Erica Sable Flores. I'm the program manager for the Youth Cinema Project. The YCP is a 501c3 nonprofit that brings project-based learn, learning, um, project learning into public classrooms. We bring professional filmmakers into the classrooms and we teach an entire filmmaking program that lasts one year where our students get to write, pitch, direct, act, produce. They work as production designers, gaffers, editors, music supervisors, and then they have red carpet premieres for their films. To learn more about our program or to check out some of our student-made films, you can look around our website, youthcinemaproject.org at the end of the show. And if you miss any of our live reads, you can also watch them there. Also, please subscribe to all of our social media channels to keep updated on the work we do. So today we have Narcos Mexico joining us um, and it made complete sense for me to wear an Isabella Bautista dress and a lot of jewelry. So it's a little bit extra at the live reads today, um, hang in there. Um, but now I'm going to be handing it over to Naomi, who's one of our filmmaking mentors and will be our host today. Thank you so much, Erica. Hey, everyone. My name is Naomi Garcia. And the first script that we are going to be reading today is written by one of my students. We have a group of amazing actors that will be joining us momentarily to perform the film Samantha, written by Lychee a YCP fourth grade student from Margaret P. Brown Elementary School in Daly City, California. Lichi is joining us today to introduce her script. Hi, Lichi. Hi. We are really excited that you're here with us today. Can you tell us what your script is about? My script is about a girl named Samantha who gets bullied by another girl named Daisy. Daisy puts a snake in Samantha's desk and later feels bad. Wow. So what inspired you to write this story? At first, I didn't know what to write, but I thought bullying was a basic thing to put in stories, and my classmates inspired me for the characters. Absolutely. Um, so your production team worked really hard on this movie um, from start to finish. So what did it feel like to have your idea of a story turned into a script and then into a film? I felt nervous because I didn't want to be on camera, but then I got excited to see words turn into images and films. That is so cool. So what would you say has been your favorite part of YCP this year? My favorite part of YCP would be directing and seeing my classmates perform. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Lichi. Do you have any shout outs before we go into this live read? I have a shout out to my production group, Miss Naomi, Miss Catalina, and Miss Khalil. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and bring out the actors. We are so lucky to have an incredible cast with us today. Joining us from Netflix, Narcos Mexico, we have Alejandro Eda, who plays Chapo. Welcome, Alejandro. We have Fernanda Urrejola, who plays Maria Elvira. Hola, hello. We have Teresa Ruiz, who plays Isabella Bautista. Welcome, Isabella. Hola. Hola. Andres Almeida, who plays Cochiloco. Hey, hello. How Welcome. are you? Welcome. <laughs> Mayra Hermosillo, who plays Enedina Arellano. Hi, Alejandro. Hola. Hola, Alejandro. Hi. Hello, Hi. <laughs> and Jesse Garcia, who plays Sal Orozco. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Alberto Seni, who plays Amar Palacios. Hi. 
Yay. Yay. <laughs> Welcome everyone. And thank you so much for doing this. You, um, thank you for making time for us. And we are really so glad that you're here. Um, so it looks like we're ready to start. Yes. Lichi will now be turning into the live stream and watching the show. And Alejandro, Andres, Jesse, and Alberto will be watching the first show because we have a double feature today. After Samantha, they will be doing a reading of another script right after Lichi. I will also be going away, but I will be off, sc off screen reading the stage directions. Okay, actors, are you ready to do this? Ready. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Go. YCP Live Reads presents Samantha, written by Li Chi Wang. Interior, classroom, day. Daisy, a rude girl with dark brown hair walks in the classroom. She sees Samantha, a nice girl with glasses. Samantha, when did you get here? Samantha <clears throat> doesn't answer. Okay, sorry to bother you, bye then. Daisy sits at her desk. The class starts. Interior, Daisy's house, afternoon. Daisy lies in bed, thinking. I hate Samantha so much. She's always ignoring me. I know what I'm gonna do. Interior, toy store, day. Daisy walks into a toy store and approaches the owner, Mrs. Crystal, a sassy lady with funky style. Hi, what are you looking for today? Hi, uh, I'm looking for snakes. Big what? ones, a good snake. I don't have snake here. This is a toy store. Yeah, a fake snake, a toy snake. Ah. Oh, oh, they, they're over here. Follow me. Daisy follows Mrs. Crystal to where the fake snakes are and grabs one. Yeah, that one is perfect. Perfect. Mrs. Crystal and Daisy walk back to the register. All right, it will be 852. Daisy pays. All right, thanks. All right. Interior classroom night. Daisy sneaks in the classroom. Yes. No one noticed me. Let's see. Where's Samantha's desk? Oh, there. <laughs> He puts the fake snake in Samantha's desk. Interior, classroom, day. All the students walk in the classroom. Sam sits down at her desk. The class gets their notebooks out. Sam's hand goes into her desk and she feels the snake. She's so scared, she falls on the floor. What is that? Teacher, teacher, Sam is playing on the floor. Teacher. Interior, principal's office, day. Sam sits at the principal's office. Miss Q, a strict principal, talks to Sam. Well, your teacher sent you here because you were playing on the floor and distracting everyone. Am I right? What? No, no, I was never play playing in the floor. I, I fell off my chair. And how did that happen? 
I'm really scared of snakes. And someone put an enormous fake snake in my desk. And it looks super, super real. And who do you think did that to you? I'm not sure. Sam puts her head down on the table, feeling sad. Let me check the security camera. The principal checks her computer. She sees footage from the night before. <gasps> This person broke it at night. Unacceptable. The principal speaks to the intercom. Hello, room two. Please send Daisy to my office, please. Thanks. Sam, you can go back to your classroom now. Interior, principal's office, day. Minutes later, Daisy walks in to the principal's office. Is there anything you want to tell me, Daisy? Daisy looks guilty. I called your parents. Go home now. You're suspended for breaking into the school at night and scaring Sam. Interior, Daisy's house, day. Daisy lays on her bed. She looks sad. Why did I do that to Sam? That was rude. And I was wrong. I'm gonna apologize for what I did. And I'm gonna get her a gift. Interior jewelry store day. Daisy walks into the store. Mrs. Crystal is at the counter. What can I help you with? Hi, um, you look familiar. Uh, anyway. Well, do you have necklaces? I would like one that says Samantha, please. Oh, let me get it. Mrs. Crystal opens a drawer and gives Daisy a necklace. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. 180. Daisy pays. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. Daisy leaves the store. Interior classroom day. Students sit at their desks. Daisy walks up behind Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam doesn't respond. <clears throat> Sam? Okay, fine. Whatever. Daisy goes around and faces Sam. Hi, Daisy. Um, Sam, I was talking to you. Oh, this? Um, okay. Um, listen, I'm really sorry about the snake. Um, I'm sorry for what I did to you. Don't worry, it's all right. Well, I got you this gift. <gasps> oh my gosh! So, so pretty! Wanna be friends? Whoa. Yeah. I mean, really? I have a question though. Why do you always ignore me? Oh, I'm not ignoring you. Sometimes I can't hear you guys. I have a really hard time hearing. Next time you can just tap on my shoulder to get my attention. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I just thought, I just thought you were being rude. Okay, but that sounds like a really good plan. Next time I'll tap you on the shoulder. Exterior playground day. The girls play together and become friends. The 
And. <laughs> Woohoo! Bravo! Awesome. Wow, that was so good. That was an amazing performance. Um, thank you so much. So, Lychee, is Lychee around? I'd love to know. There you are, the, our playwright, screenwriter. Um, Lychee, how old is Lychee? She's so little. Lychee, how old are you? Lychee, can you hear us? Lychee, are you there? We have to tap her on the shoulder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Lichi, how do you feel? How do you feel after watching this performance? It was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, what like what is it like to see like some professional actors actually play these parts? Um, exciting. Totally. So actors, what was your favorite part of the script? Do I start? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Lichi, congratulations. My favorite part when, when, when we realized that she had hearing problems and she wasn't being rude. Uh, sometimes we take things personally when we don't know what's going on with the other person. So thank you, Lichi, for that. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Anyone else? I, 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 I really like the, the part where... Um, the character I read, Daisy, reflects by by herself. I think that's really good that at your age and just the way you're writing, that you can think of how a person without anybody telling them can, can come to their own conclusion of what is right and what is wrong. And just coming from their, their own inner, inner, inner self. So I really like that. Thank you, Lichi. Yeah, thank you very much for writing this script. I really enjoy and I I really love that that sometimes human beings we can be cruel with another one without understanding uh what is the other person feeling and living. So I I think it's very important to to ask uh and to say the truth about how we are feeling, how we are. Absolutely. Thank you so much um, for sharing your guys' reactions. And thank you, Lichi, for sharing your script today with, um, with YouTube and the world. Um, and that concludes the end of this show. But don't go anywhere because the rest of our cast is coming back. Um, we're going to have Alejandro, Andres, Jesse, and Alberto here with us shortly. Bye, Thank you. Thanks again for your script. And thank you, everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit like on this video. All right, Erica, back to you. Hi, that was amazing. Thank you so much for that. That was really nice. Um, and while we get ready for the second show, I want to give very special thanks to the queen of Latinx casting, Carla Hull, for your help making this happen. Um, and on behalf of a lot of us and all of us working in the industry, I want to thank you, Carla, for being a champion for authenticity on screen. Um, the world of television and film is definitely better because of you. Accents matter, people. Authentic looks matter. You can't just stick any Latino in any role and we're all just going to be fine. We don't like it. So. Carla, if you call Carla, if you need help figuring it out. Um, all right, that was my TED talk. And looks like we're ready to get started with the next script. So I'm going to hand that over to Joanna, who's uh, one of our filmmaking mentors and is going to host our next show. Thank you, Erica. Hi, I'm Joanna Proud, YCP mentor. What a great script by Lychee, awesome job. And now we are going to be reading a script written by one of my students, Alejandro, Andres, Jesse, and Alberto are coming back to perform Area 51, written by Roberto, a YCP seventh grade student from Barbara Worth Junior High School in Brawley, California. And Roberto is joining us today to introduce his script. Hi, Roberto. Hi. How are, How are you? you? Good, good. good. We are so excited to have you here with us today. And can you tell us what your story is about? 
my stories about the boss of Area 51 that works with the president. The boss of Area 51 has to stop and figure out what bad things the president is doing to the elites. That's super cool. What inspired you to write the story? Mm, well, since I was little, I have always, um, I was very curious um, for UFOs and aliens, and that inspired me to make Area 51. Nice. And now you have your own alien yeah. movie. Perfect. What has been your favorite part of YCP? My favorite part of YCP is that you guys give us the opportunity to have our ideas come to life. Oh, that's great. And I know for a fact that your pro your production team was working super hard filming Area 51. What did it feel like to, to, to have your idea turn into a script and then a film, like you said? Actually, it was very surprising because I never thought my movie was going to be chosen. And I'm very excited that I have the opportunity to have a film and that came from inside of me. Because you're amazing. Awesome. Well, great. It's before we start, do you have any shout outs? Yes, for my teacher, Ms. Corsolino, and my YCP mentors, you, Joanna, and Luis, and my production team. That's super. Okay, so it's time to start. Let's go ahead and bring back our actors. Alejandro, Andres, Jesse, and Alberto. Welcome back. Ooh. Rock on. So it looks like we are ready to start. Roberto will now be tuning into the live stream and watching the show. I'm also going away, but I will be off screen reading stage directions. Actors, are you ready to do this? Yes. All right. Ready. Drum roll, please. YCP Live Reads presents. Area 51, written by Roberto. Interior, Area 51, main office, day. Roberto, Area 51's chief, 24, tall, dark hair, Hispanic, mean, grumpy, walks into the room and watches the news on TV. On the television, a news reporter, 37, stands on top of a mountain with Area 51 in the background. Reporting live from Area 51, there is a UFO flying over the main base at Area 51. It appears that aliens may be looking for something. Roberto looks upset. He turns the TV off. I hate aliens. Roberto calls through the intercom. Angel, I need you to meet me at the main base. Roberto hangs up the intercom and picks up the phone. <sighs> Roberto calls the White House. I need to call the president and tell him about the UFO. Hi. Yes, Mr. President, a UFO landed on Earth. Interior White House Oval Office Day. President Crumb, 53, mean, male, stubborn, orange tan, fake, blonde, pours a lot of sugar into his coffee. The phone rings. The president talks to Roberto. Roberto, get rid of those aliens. My pleasure. I'm already working on it, sir. He hangs up the phone. Exterior, Area 51, main office day. Angel, 24, military captain, walks toward Roberto. Angel, we have some aliens to take care of. I will find out that UFO and we'll kick them out of this world. I know how much you hate them, sir. I do hate them. I'll come with you. Exterior, Area 51, field day. Roberto and Angel walk up to the, the UFO. An alien Bob comes out. Hi, Mama. Alien Bob walks up to Roberto. We are here on Earth because we're looking for our boss. 
uh, we don't have your bus. Mm -hmm. So get out of here. The president's helicopter lands. He comes off the helicopter and walks toward the group. What is going on here? Well, they are looking for their alien boss, sir. And we don't have their alien boss, sir. Get rid of them. We come in peace. Please. Let him go. We already told you that he's not here. Mm -hmm. Alien Bob suddenly grabs Roberto's hand. His eyes roll back and as Alien Bob transfers an image to his mind. Interior Laboratory Day flashback. In a creepy laboratory, President Crump experiments on aliens. Other aliens in cages cry. Flashback ends. Exterior Area 51 field day. Roberto's eyes come back and he lets go of aliens Bob's hand with force. Roberto is shaken and agitated. He angrily turns to the president. <sighs> you just won the aliens boss for your experiments. We have made huge advancements, terrific advancements, tremendous advancements. Plus, you hate them as much as I do. I don't know. That's only because you said that to me. So I couldn't, I mean, you told me they were bad. And it was you all along. Yeah. And, and Roberto, and, and you told me that the aliens were the bad guys. He's a liar. Don't you know this by now? So what are you going to do? I'm the president. Well, they may have my help. Alien Bob extends his hand and makes the president and his guards pass out. I am so sorry, Alien Bob. I shouldn't have judged aliens just because you're different. Yeah, me too. I'm really sorry. We will help you find your bus and get you back home. Interior Area 51 Laboratory Day. Roberto and Angel unlock multiple cages and free many aliens, including the alien's boss, who looks really weak. They help them out and take them outside. Exterior Area 51 Field Day. Roberto and Angel walk the aliens to the UFO. Alien Bob waits outside. I can't thank you enough for helping us. They all shake hands. We, we, we really sorry. We had no idea. No idea. It's okay. You did the right thing. Go home safe. The aliens walk into the UFO. The UFO flies off. Exterior White House lawn day. Weeks later. The news reporter talks to the camera. Reporting live from the White House, President Trump has resigned from office. There is still no word as to why he has chosen to do so. There are rumors that the chief of Area 51 will be, will be taking his place. Exterior White House lawn next day. People are gathered for the president's oath. The president puts his hand on a Bible. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the president of the United States and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America. Fade to black. The end. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Roberto, let's have Roberto come up. Well done, you guys. How does that feel, Roberto? I love this. 
very exciting. So you have professional actors reading your script that came from your heart. That's awesome. I know. That's really <laughs> awesome. Actors, what was your favorite part of the script? Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything. <laughs> The Latino, so, the Latino president. Great. <laughs> Very good, Roberto. Thank you. Really so, like how big you think and it shows in your script. I love how you involve different worlds, uh, many characters, and you have a very nice way of, of, of which I call a positive uh, ambition. You know, you, you put in helicopters, you put in different labs and, and that's nice it, it reaches the story and i'd like to to tell to congratulate you for for thinking thank you, very big. Much. Thank you. it was a nice arc you had all the characters had nice arcs um uh roberto had a nice arc from not really liking him to being being the president so that was really cool so that's uh it's a good that it's not easy to do within you know whatever five pages so good job thank you yeah, you also, right. you also mix, mix things, which actually you get the, the essence of sci-fi very specifically because sci-fi tends to talk about situations that are happening socially and then just puts them in an environment that it's extraordinary. So yeah, well done, well done on that. Thank you very much. Well, what, what I actually loved about the script, it's for me, it's so actual. It, it could be happening just right now. And, and the way it, it, it in a sense, uh, involves uh, like probably just like desires of what could be better for, for, for our society or world, even, even though it's like in a small dose, dosage, I feel it's, it's great that you're uh, at, at such a young age already thinking about those things because uh, many times we don't tend to think about this, but uh, cinema can actually do change uh, how people think and how people act. So it's great that you are already taking that on hand. So congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's great. Well, for our last question, we're gonna bring the rest of the actors back. Hola. Bravo. Bravo. Hola. So what advice would you all give Roberto or any of our other young YCP filmmakers watching the show? Don't ever stop writing. Exactly. Keep going. Keep doing it. Yeah. Right now you have so many tools to make things happen that are at your reach. Like you have cell phones where you can shoot an entire movie with and you have your imagination to write all the stories you want and you have people around you. So just go and do it and keep doing it until, until you feel comfortable with it and, and it becomes a, a medium of expression for you. Also, don't, uh, I mean, here's, it, it, I think you're doing, I think you're on the right track. You're doing, all of you guys are, um, you're writing, you're being uh, proactive. You, what I would also say is don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, none, of, none of this could be done by yourself. Uh, there's no problem. There's no worries about having a writing partner, um, keeping each other accountable. Alberto knows better than anybody. Um, uh, and um, don't be afraid to ask people you admire for help or um, if, if it's being in something like this, you know what I mean? It's a pretty cool thing to have the cast of Narcos, which all of these actors are very, very, very respectable and, and have... Uh, great careers um, for help or even to be part of your project. You know what I mean? And if they can't do it, maybe they know somebody else who can. So I guess don't be afraid to ask for help and be keep, keep being humble and um, keep moving forward and, and think universal. You know what I mean? Think bigger picture, which is this, this is great about this one, uh, Roberto's, is that it's, it's, a, it's a bigger picture than just like the typical quote unquote Latino story. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's it happened. This is could have been anybody, and and to be a cast of Latinos was, was a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Yep. Yes, and don't forget that you are unique, so your voice matters. So never, never looking to get that uniqueness out because we we need it. So thank you. 
Be weird. Be be. <laughs> don't, be don't be don't be worried about what other people think. True. Be weird. Is there someone That's else out there that that thinks the same way you do, or you're gonna inspire someone to be weird too? I mean, like all of us, we're all we're all really weird. So, um, um, especially Jesse. <laughs> I look so normal though. <laughs> Prepare for the next part of Area Fifty One. <laughs> so, sounds good. Perfect. Well said, Narcos Mexico. I love it. So, thank you so much for your great advice, and Roberto, thanks again for letting us showcase your You're script. Welcome. Thank you to our audience for tuning in and supporting our YCP students. Also, for all our, all our YCP students, there are short assignments that accompany today's reading that you will receive shortly. And for anyone else who wants to follow along, you can take our short quiz on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I think we have some surprise announcements. Erica? Yes, we do. So. Uh, we launched a contest and we told the 1500 YCP students that we have that if in the three weeks that we did the live reads, or I think we sent it three weeks ago, that if they could write a script, the winner would get a live read. And we thought the kids were like over it and they were just kind of like, you know, wanting to be done with school and that they were not going to do it, but they did. We got a lot of submissions. The competition was fierce and now we have our finalists. So we're going to be announcing on Monday the winner of this competition. This was amazing because they did this by themselves. The mentors have been working with them for a year, teaching them how to write a script, and now they just did it. So it was so impressive to see how that they can do this by themselves. Huh? On Monday, stay tuned, surprise cast, one last live read happening. And then the last thing is that our friends over at Latinx in Animation saw the on the block live read, and they were inspired to create something fun. So we have a surprise coming from Latinx in Animation next Friday, and it involves our writer, Ashley, the script Super Puppy, and maybe the cast of On the Block. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You have been an awesome audience, um, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you so much to the cast. We appreciate you. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>